welcome YouTube friends and family and uh, pedal nerds, which is you. Where's my mic? Hello, mic. Hello, mic. Oh, my mic came off. You now, now we're talking. Now we're talking. I always, I usually yell, and there's email going on over there. Um, here we are, uh, back in my room, um, in my sea of Karl Martin amp goodness, which is awesome. I feel like a kid in a candy store, and um. Today's candy is the Fox Fuzz, Fox Fuzz, sounds like Fox Fuzz, Fox Fuzz from Tone City. Um, very, very crazy pedal. And uh, if you're crazy enough to buy this, you're crazy enough to use those sounds. And we use those sounds in some productions and they're great for single note lines behind power chords uh, to just fatten things up and to put a third in there or something. Really cool pedal also for lead sounds and we're gonna go through a couple with the Quenzel M3, Markus Quenzel, custom guitar builder from Germany, built me an insane guitar, very unique, with the uh, maple neck and fretboard, all the trimmings are maple, and it's all of course flamey, flameless, um, very cool, and you can switch these pickups to single call with the tap, so if you see me tap on this tone knob, it's single call, and the pickups are Four Season Pickups, which is a brand by Bob Gabriel, all completely handmade, everything's handmade, I'm handmade, and uh, uh, my floor is handmade, I actually made that, everything, the dogs, I made the dogs, yeah, wherever they are, anyway, so, um, so this guitar is going into a Wally looper by Hot Tone, so I can loop around and show you some sounds, and that is going straight into the Fox Fuzz, into the tape machine, into this roadie back here, Oh, I switched the mic. Um, Carl Martin, made by Carl Martin, the Rody Bandmate 15, Class A 15 watt Super Boutique amp. Very, very nice. And I've got two of these, so it looks exactly like this, but it's behind me. Um, and it's as clean as it gets. Of course, you can push it a bit, but we don't want that. So right now we're looking at this sound. Now, is that clean enough for you? Well, let's go single coil. D7 plus 4. What a beautiful sound. Can't play that with the Fox Files because it's gonna take your head off. So let's turn this puppy on. So in the down position, we've got not the octave, we've got the fatter sound. Um, well, let's see if we, we can get some power chords out of this, but that's really not what this pedal is made for. It is really made for single call sound, uh, for single uh, for single note lines. So let's try this. I'm gonna be in the front here. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Yes, this pedal gives you the kind of broken fuzz sound, not the slightly overdriven, a little bit different overdrive. No, this isn't a slightly different overdrive, it's the fuzz sound. Um, it does that really well. Slightly broken, and the crazy switch will uh, emphasize the higher octave, which, if we go up higher, it can do beautiful singing, kind of screamy octave things. So let's try this. You get it? Trust me, if you're sitting right in front of the speaker, it takes your ears out. Now with some tape machine from Tone City, it's just a delay in green. that the lower notes don't track as well so if you want this octave sound stay higher <laughs> See in the in the front it actually does track better. So stay in the front on, on the front pickup. Single chord versus humbucker. Well, let's see. Really, no big difference there. So I love it for this, and obviously for lower notes that kind of accompany a, um, a power chord to kind of give it a third or a nine or something like this. So it would sound like this. It really is fun to play and it is useful in the right situations which you're gonna have to figure out for yourself. Here's me again in a tent. Hello! Coming to you from a tent with good intentions. You know, because I'm in a tent, so I'm intending to show doesn't matter how many times you use a bad joke, it's still a bad joke. It just becomes funny because the one using the bad joke doesn't realize it's a bad joke. And if you're saying, stop talking about bad jokes, well, you know what, I cannot hear you. And no matter how much you write it in the comments that I should stop being funny, I can't stop who I am, so shut up about it. Where were we? <laughs> well, we were throwing the dildo for Congo. Um, the Tone City. Fox Fuzz, my opinion. Well, this is, it's cool. Well, first of all, um, 
I really messed up the knobs if you if you look at that here I don't know if you can see this when I drew, tried to draw in the line so in the video uh, you could see actually what I'm setting up I really messed it up and it looks like ass so that's me but uh, of course you would want to draw in your line so on your pedal board you see what the crap you're doing a lot of these mini switches on these pedals don't really do too much um, they're supposed to go from American to British. Well, bullshit. They're supposed to give you a lot more mid boost. Well, oftentimes there's more an, an imaginary function that they have. Um, not here. Here, this actually goes from normal, from a octave kind of fuss, to really emphasizing that higher octave. And this is. A very unique, very cool fuzz. And we, what, what I mean, unique. It's it's the octave fuzz that we all know and love. And I've used this in a production for my good friends from for good friends from Campaign Like Clockwork because the drummer who watches my video said, "We need a fuzz sound here." Three guitar players in the room, and the drummer says, "We need a fuzz." And we're all like, "What the fuzz do you want?" Um, but. We tried it and he was absolutely right and it, it made the song, it defined the sound and um, we went normal and crazy, we got that higher octave in there and it is uh, for me one of the go-to pedals when it comes to that crazy octave fuzz kind of sound. So uh, for under 100 bucks, very sturdy build quality, very simple straightforward design, kind of exotic-y with the, with the line on the outside. Um, yeah, just draw any lines. The packaging could use some help. Um, but other than that, it's a great Octofuzz. It's I have probably over 300 pedals now. And this is definitely a pedal that is in the back of my mind when I'm looking for that type of sound. Absolutely uh, a recommendation from me. No shit about it. Thanks to... I always forget that. Thanks to my buddy Shane Diorio from In The Blues. What a great pedal demo channel. He's been doing this for a long time now. He really knows what he's doing. He's a blues guy. So, I mean, don't expect, you know, the, the seven string metal demos from him. But when you want blues sounds in perfection, played by a lefty, which is always weird looking at a left hand guitar player because it, for me, that's just, that's just wrong. But he's from Australia and down there, everything is upside down anyway. So, you know, isn't that, isn't that why he plays left hand guitar? I, I don't know. But um, Shane is such a cool guy and I hooked him up with a couple of pedals from my friend, uh, friend from Joyo and Moval and he called up Tone City and said, hey, send this guy all your pedals. He's going to do some cool demos, which is what we're doing now. And um, so I want to thank you, Shane. You guys check out his channel if you haven't. We all know him. Come on, he's been around way longer than I am. So um, thank you, Shane. And more Tone City uh, demos uh, at the end of this video in the links. Under 100 bucks, get it if you look for that sound. Great pedal. So obviously there's more. Feel free to click on any of these videos you see here for some excellent demos made by me and my beautiful team.